Welcome to day 12 of the January Kickstart Challenge. And TGIF, today is Friday, thank goodness. Well, I am getting ready to head to work. I am bringing the chocolate chip pancake to work for my first fueling, which I'll have with some black coffee. And then you'll see what I have for my second fueling and then I will be home for lunch. I'm not really sure what I have on the agenda today, but I suppose we will find out. But I did want to mention, I did the heatless curls last night, and I think they turned out really nice. So, I think I'm getting it down. All right, I am going to head to work. I will see you later. Say that I am just a bad girl, but if you treat me right, in this whole world. No, I'm not gonna bite. I've got my hands on your body. So tell me, tell me what you want me to do. I can be good or be naughty. Because there ain't nobody love you like I, like I do. Like I do. Like I do. Well, I made it home for lunch and you saw what I had, the red bean and vegetable chili. And it's actually been a really long time since I've had that fueling and I forgot how much I liked it. One thing I do differently than what the package instructions state is I use one cup of water. The package calls for three fourths cup, but I like it better with a cup. So I'm going to head back to work You'll see what I have for my fourth fueling, and then I'll be home. I'm going to get my stuff together and head to Mike's. And what I'm planning for a lean and green is fish tacos, but I am not really using any particular recipe. I am going to thaw some tilapia, and I'm going to use my cauliflower crusts. I'm gonna use two mini crusts. And then I'm gonna make some kind of salsa with um, some chopped up tomatoes and jalapenos and maybe a little bit of red onion for one condiment. I'm thinking, and I'll get a healthy fat because it's tilapia and it's a leanest. So I'm going to have avocado on the tacos. I've got to do a little bit more thinking of exactly how I want to make them, but you will see later when I get to Mike's. Okay, I'm headed out. I will see you later. All right, I made it home from work and I saw that my Timu order had arrived. And I thought I would take the opportunity to uh, show you some of the stuff that I got. So the weather here is horrible. It is sleeting out, which is a combination of snow and rain. And I am supposed to go to Mike's and I have to drive about half an hour to his condo. So I am going to show you what I got on Timu and then I'm going to pack my stuff for Mike's and pack my stuff to make fish tacos tonight. And then the next time you see me, I will be at Mike's condo. But let's get started with my Timu order. It seriously got caught in the rain. Okay. Now, I think this first one is what I've been waiting for. And 
Yes, these are fleece lined leggings and I actually ordered them in navy blue and loved them so much that I got them in black. And I will actually be going upstairs and changing into them because it is freezing out. And let's see, what else did I get? Oh. So I got some jewelry, so to speak. It's, um, I wear scarves sometimes with my suits and it is a um, brooch to hold your scarf in place. So I got it in uh, silver and gold. This is the gold one. So you see, you just, um, you just feed the scarf through the two holes and it pulls it together. So that, that'll be really nice to have. And then I got that, like I said, I got it in gold and silver. Oops. And I got a shirt for Valentine's Day. It says love on it. Very cute. So I think I'm gonna change into this actually with my new leggings that I got. And then I got some pajamas because I love pajamas. I generally change into them right when I get home from work. Um, ah, these are a wrinkled mess and they look huge. But anyway, they're heart pajamas. I guess it doesn't matter if pajamas are baggy, right? Yeah, that's cute. You know, I never know. I always try to order it in bigger sizes um, because they usually run small. And then I got a, um, a brooch. I got a new coat, this pale pink coat that's really pretty. It's more of a dressy overcoat. And I thought that this would look really nice on the collar. That was really pretty. It's kind of dark in here. It's dark outside. <clears throat> oh, what is this? Hmm. Oh, I know what this is. So I have a couple of those um, cardigans, the open front draped cardigans that don't have any buttons. And if you want to close them, you can put, you can use this pin to keep the um, sides together. So I have a few of those, so that'll be nice too. And honestly, I don't know how they do it with the prices. I mean, that jewelry, it was like $1.98 each. You can't really do that. And then last but not least, I got a sweater, a fuzzy sweater. And it's light blue, just big and baggy, fuzzy sweater. Probably to go with the leggings. All right. So that's my little Timu order. I think everything I got came to like $50 total. So, but I have to be careful because my closets are already filled to the brim. I really need to go through those and get rid of stuff. It's one of my uh, projects this winter. All right. I am going to change, pack my stuff and get to Mike's. Okay. So I am at Mike's. Um, this is one of my uh, Timu outfits that I have on. I'm going to make our fish tacos. So the first thing I'm going to make is a pico de gallo. I'm going to cut up some tomato. I'm going to use about a tablespoon of red onion for one condiment and some jalapeno peppers and some lime juice and some salt and pepper. I'm going to kind of call it two condiments. 
And then I'm gonna saute the tilapia. And I brought some uh, Old Bay seasoning to put on that. And I've done the calculations. I'm gonna use two of my mini cauliflower crusts. And two mini cauliflower crusts are one third lean and two green. So I have to make up for the other two thirds lean. And that will be about 4.6 ounces of cooked tilapia. So that is what I'm gonna use on my uh, two mini tacos. And then I'm gonna have some shredded lettuce. And again, I have the tomatoes, um, the jalapenos, and then I have avocado for my one healthy fat. I'm kind of winging it. It's my own recipe. I'm just going to uh, turn the camera down and get started. just had my lean and green and uh, I would rate that about a six on the scale of one to ten. You know, I think if I make it again, I'll use shrimp. I think that would be a lot better. The tilapia that I had was really fishy, but I mean, you know, it was pretty good. Anyway, it filled me up and I am ready to go relax with Mike and watch a movie and I will see you back for my last fueling. All right, so it's time for my last fueling and I just made a decadent chocolate brownie in the microwave. I mixed three tablespoons of water and put it in the microwave for a minute and it is nice and warm. So I'm gonna say good night and I will see you in the morning. Good morning and welcome to day 13 of my January Kickstart Challenge. So I am just leaving Mike's and I am headed to my Weight Watcher meeting that I go to with my best friend. Now, just to be clear, I am still doing the Optavia 5-in-1 plan. However, I am a lifetime member of Weight Watchers and my best friend is on her own weight loss journey through Weight Watchers and I go on Saturdays for extra accountability for myself and to support her. Plus, you know, there's always good information that I can use down the road. All right, I'm gonna head to my meeting and I'll have my first feeling of the day there. I brought a bar and then I will see you when I get home. On the run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. That's where I never thought it would matter If I'm gone by now All my weakness keep on linger, linger on On repeat like it will be my favorite song Oh, I know I should be moving, moving on All right, 
Well, like I said before, welcome to day 13 of the January Kickstart Challenge. You saw that I had the Campfire S'mores bar for my first feeling, and then I had the Homestyle Chicken Noodle Soup for my second feeling, and then I went on the treadmill and took a shower, and now I'm having fueling number three, which is the peanut butter shake. And Mike just got here. We are going to watch the Browns. They are in the playoffs for the first time in a really long time. So that's on at four o'clock. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing yet for my lean and green, but I will definitely get back to you on that. All right, I will check back for probably my lean and green next. See you soon. All right, our football game is about to start. So I am going to make my cauliflower crust turkey pepperoni pizzas. So I know I've made those, I think this is like the third time just in this January kickstart, but it's just so good. So you know I use my two mini crusts, which constitutes one third lean and two greens. And then I heat those up in the microwave for about a minute and a half. And right now I am preheating the oven to 425. So once I heat the crusts up, I then put a quarter cup of the Rayos on the two crusts and then half a cup of reduced fat mozzarella cheese and then eight slices of turkey pepperoni. It's so easy and so good. And then that is my complete lean and green. All right, I'm gonna get started with that and I will check back later. fueling. I made the chewy chocolate chip cookie fueling into four chewy chips ahoy. They are delicious. And Mike and I watched the Browns and they lost. It was a sad, sad game. But we are going to uh, relax for the rest of the night. We are watching The Breakfast Club. It's been years since I've seen that movie. So we're gonna finish that up. So if you like this video, please like it below and subscribe to my channel. And tick that notification bell so you are alerted every time I upload a new video. I'm gonna say good night, and I will see you in the morning. <laughs>